Today, the top four decider in the Premier League, West Ham United was Manchester United. This will be the top four decider I predict here now. And in this video, I'm going to make the preview. I don't make these preview videos. I haven't made it, but for these crucial matches, I'm going to make it. So um, let's get into it now. Like and subscribe. No long intros. And another thing I'm doing is that at 8:30 Indian time, the match is going to start, and I'm going to what I'm going to do a watch along on youtube in, on my on my live channel fw gaming live links will be in the description you can just go check it out 8 15 indian time you can join the stream i'm going to start the stream at that time and you can join you can enjoy the watch along with me and let now let's get into the preview now in this video i'm going to talk in the manchester united fan point of view I'm I'm a West Ham I'm a West Ham supporter, but um, still I want I'm talking in the Manchester United point of view only. So now let's get into it now. This can be the lineup of Manchester United. Um, now Ralph Raniak against Brentford in the second half. He switched into a, a four three three formation, which worked actually three one with Terry. And um, it was a nice victory for Manchester United. And in this, uh, the lineup can be like this: David De Gea in goal, left back Tejas, right back Dallo, uh, centre back Maguire and Varane, Scott McTominay as the CDM, Fred Bruno Fernandes as the midfielders, uh, left mid Elanga or uh, Marcus Rashford, right wing. Mason Greenwood, striker Cristiano Ronaldo. So during the match, you'll see Alex Tejas going forward. Uh, if Manchester United have the ball, Maguire is going to go front hundred percent. He'll be like in, he'll be like here at that time. Um, Varane will stay back. Chomene will stay back. Tears with the overlapping runs with Dallo. And it'll be like Varan here, Scott here, Maguire like here. And Bruno Fernandes here, Fred here, Ronaldo here, Marcus Rashford here. Like, this can be the case. And when they are progressing the ball, Dallow will be key, Tejas will be key. It will be like this, more or less. Pressing, uh, they are going to press high. Manchester United in the first half, but in the second half, they will like it. And it will be like this. It will be like, Hannah Maguire will be here, McTominay will be like here. And Varan will like move forward a bit only. This will be the case when they have the ball, and when they're off the ball, Dallo, uh, ignore the arrow marks, Dallo will be like here, Tears, here, Maguire, here, Varane, oh my god, Varane, here, Scott McTominay. It'll be like this. Um, Harry Maguire who won't be staying back much because he's a ball uh, bringing the ball forward uh, center back Fred will be moving up and down for the match Bruno will come for the support uh, Green would like here Elango here and Ronaldo here it'll be like this when they are off the ball and um, this will be at Tactical masterclass of David Moyes if they win against uh, uh, than, uh, Manchester United. And let's talk about West Ham a bit also now. Uh, this can be the team, but one change Vlasic is playing well, so he'll stay. Pablo Fornals out and will bring in Thomas Sushek. Lanzini will be here and Sushek will be here. 
But when the job, uh, the top scorer of his time, I, I don't know, ra rather than not, I think he is one of the top scorers, and he's in the man, he, he's the man in it form, and uh, and it can be like this, West Ham with like this, so it'll be a game where uh, the strikers need to perform, the attacks are good. Uh, Boban, Antonio, Fonals, not Fonals, Lanzini is the man to watch, is the man to watch as well along with Boban. Vlasic has been playing great lately, Sufal and Crespo uh, like great uh, fullbacks. So it can be a very cagey game and this is a top four decider so both the teams will give their 100% in winning the match. So we'll have a treat in today's match and I think this will be a defensive masterclass from uh, David Moyes. He will not let Manchester United score as much as they want. I think Manchester United will dominate the first half as they did against Brentford as well. Pressing, uh, he, they can press in the first half easily and uh, uh, the players will get tired and they can't press in the second half. So the first uh, the first half will be dominated by Manchester United, and I think in the first half they'll score a goal, thanks to uh, Elanga or Greenwood, rather Elanga or Bruno Fernandes. Bruno is in great form. Elanga had a great match against uh, uh, Brentford, and even in the cup game against uh, Aston Villa. Or else, if Marcus Strashford is the player, he also scored a goal against Brentford, so he'll be a threat as well. So. Uh, Ronaldo coming off an injury. I don't think he'll have the one of the best best of games. And here with uh, West Ham, like uh, Manchester United versus Aston Villa, uh, Gerard brought in Felipe Coutinho when they lacked midfielders, and it was great for them. And I think David Moyes as well. The, he'll bring in like Pablo Fonald in the team in the second half, and he'll be the game changer. And I think it will end up as a one-all draw. It will be a big win for West Ham and a big L to Manchester United, though it was a draw. But Manchester United's job four dreams may crush if they lose or draw this game. So this should be interesting. Um, this should be an interesting match. And if you want to uh, join me and see the watch along, FW Gaming Live links in the description. Go check it out. 8.15 p.m. Indian time. Join in and let's enjoy. And for this, I'll catch you guys later. Peace.